a yes man. We're going to talk about yes men and how dangerous they are. Some people don't think they're dangerous. When they speak about Deontay, you know, I've seen people say, nah, the yes man didn't do what they did. You know, Deontay is he is who he is. That's why he's where he's at. Yeah, but when you got yes men in there, you can't get to another level because of the yes man. You only have yes men when people are scared of you. Especially in boxing. They stick around for the money. They go along with you everywhere. You, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Adrian Broner had them. A lot of the guys have them. Mayweather had it too. But Mayweather's a different. And I'm going to explain why Mayweather got what he got, even with the yes men. So if you listen to this real quick. You hear that dude in the corner? That's it. Half that. You didn't hear it? Let's let's let's, let's listen to it again. Now I gotta do it. Half that. Half that. He ain't good. Deontay sitting there. He got done training. This was with the fury stuff going on. This is where he got to convincing himself. Uh, that something happened or not, so he can self motivate his. He need uh, Deontay need a, That's why he makes a lot of excuses. The excuses give him it justifies stuff that went on, because reality is delusional. You know, there's a reason. That's why I say, you know, when he lost uh, the 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 third fight, he said he was he was too big. You know, he came in too heavy, was sluggish, and then when he fought Parker, you know, the love was gone. The passion, and then he did the, the the bronze bomber was back before he fought um, uh, Zang. You know, it's an excuse. He motivates himself. So they sit back in the corner. He didn't got done training. They, you see, his gloves was off. You hear him in the background? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. This is this. The way he's talking, Deontay does his, well, he was doing this by himself, too. People don't just talk like that. He's doing it, he does it to himself to convince himself. He's always convincing himself. I know him. Y'all know him. Well, some of y'all don't, but I know it's tight. Excuse me, let me clarify that. I know it's tight, people that do that stuff. Do it all the time. No. You cheater. You cheated on me. You going to show him. Y'all heard him. <coughs> Can't wait. Now he sits up. Like he the king, like he king tut. And it's it ain't just it's how he set up, too. He was down and he sits up like, y'all know what y'all better do. People going to say, "Well, he paid, you know, he's paying everybody." Yeah, but you in training camp. It ain't supposed to be comfortable for you when you train. At least I don't think it should be. This is a new era that we live in where everybody's sensitive. You can't say nothing to nobody. The men that raised me aren't men like this. So I don't I can't I I won't agree with this kind of setup. To me, training camp is supposed to be uncomfortable. Turn the AC off. Make it hot in there. Water. Watch how he lifts up. Like, y'all, you better hurry up and give me my water. I'm not playing with you. They jobs, they on pins and needles in there. They job is on the line. They there to self-soothe, make him feel good. Look at him. King Tut, give me my water. Now, here the guy, they won't even get a chance to hit you behind the head this first round. I mean, this go round. Insinuating that he was cheated. Knowing Deontay, when he get inside, he's a master of slap boxing and Steven Seagal tactics hitting you in behind your head and doing all kind of stuff. They ain't saying none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, you, you make him comfortable. Yeah, man. Yo, yeah, yeah, you'll do that. Yeah, but yeah, boss. Yeah, yes, boss. Yes, boss. You right, boss. Whatever you say, boss. He cheated. Yo, yeah, he cheated. Versus having somebody in your corner like this. Yo, 
You should have been hearing that the other day. Let your hands go. <coughs> but even in that, you got to be careful. A lot of these guys don't have fathers. They always showing their moms in the stands. And if they fathers if fathers there, then he only showed up when the guy got famous. I'm just saying that's what happens. Now, we're going to get to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, the reason why he got to where he got, even with Yes Man, he got all the money in the Yes Man because his daddy. I can show you better than I can tell you. He know the disgust look on his daddy's face. And he could talk to him. Floyd Singer it was not scared of, of Floyd Jr. Floyd, the reason why Floyd got where he got when his daddy went to jail, Floyd got a chip on his shoulder. He wanted to show his daddy that I can do this without you. You ain't the best. You ain't been there. That's why he said uh, Rogers, Roger was the best trainer ever. And he had to keep winning with Roger, Roger so he could keep that narrative. He had to. Then reality hit. Roger got sick. He passed away. So he, he got back with his dad before it came to that when he, Roger started getting sick. But he realized my daddy ain't going to be here forever. And he did start me out. I'm going to finish my career with my father. Then his attitude changed. But his day he had, he was no nonsense. He talked, man, Floyd Sr. talked like that to De La Hoya when he had him in the corner. He talking to him, man, what you doing? Because when you hire a trainer, you hire for him to train you. You don't hire me for you to tell me what you going to do. I got better things to do. If you're not going to listen to me, man, I'm gone. I don't need your money. I'm a world-class trainer, so, you know, if Floyd C. had money, too, Malik don't. He got a trainer that got uh, uh, took a dive with him. And you got this guy that couldn't beat you. They're going to try to give you tips on how to beat people? Come on, man. Make this make sense. Hey, and the crazy thing about it? I believe Deontay Wilder ain't done. He said he was going to retire. I don't think he's going to retire. He got an ego problem. Everybody's telling him, oh, yeah, man, hang it up, man. It's over with. It's over with. Yeah, he said it too, but he's talking. He's letting people know. That's a mind game he's playing on everybody. He's talking about standing over his body, letting him shake. He's trying to let everybody know the bronze bomber is back. Hey, man, if I don't win, I'm going to retire. This is it for me. That's all talk. I, I, I bet he come back. Bet he come back. Next time he might come back with Breland. Now he got to, what's the, he got to have another excuse. Man, uh, Malik ain't trained me right. I'm telling you. Dude, Zang's 41 years old. Deontay's 38. If Zang can do that at 41, Deontay in his mind said, well, shit, I can keep going too. Deontay's not done. I got a gut feeling say he ain't done. Does Deontay have his father? It don't feel good when another man is standing over you like Floyd Sr. and he's chastising you. But he needs he need somebody like that. He need a, he needed somebody that's going to be in there. He, maybe, let's say it's not even Breland. He need a world-class trainer in there that don't care about your money. 
I don't care if you, man, hey, you ain't on time. You ain't going to do what I say do. I'm gone. Train yourself. You're going to work on them legs and that stamina. And we're going to work on other punches. But it's too late now. But people been saying this about Deontay. He ain't listen. I can't. I look for it. I seen something on my league said that Deontay don't listen. No, he ain't gonna listen to you. He, he knocked you out with a shadow punch. Deontay's so worried about having power. All he talk about, I got him the hardest hitter in the heavyweight division. Don't work on nothing else. No jab. No going to the body. No inside fighting. No nothing. No boxing and moving. You just throwing your you moving and peppering them somebody. You didn't have nothing. He could have been. He could have been better than what he than what he was. Everybody at the top don't have to be super athletic with all his athletic ability. You got to have your mind. You got to have the right mindset. And it seemed like he had the right mindset going in. He got to have a trainer in the corner that's going to tell him, look, before I do this, I'm telling you, if you don't let your hands go and I see you in trouble, I'm throwing the towel in. Man, you better, I'm throwing the towel in. Scare him. He don't want the towel thrown in because he don't want to lose. But yeah, the yes man will destroy you <clears throat> because they scared of you. But then I'd rather have I'd rather be in the position where I got somebody over me like Manny Stewart yelling at me where I'm scared of my trainer. Manny Stewart was 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 helping Jermaine Taylor and he said, To hell with this. This dude don't listen. I'm not gonna waste my time. He said it. I don't care about your money. My time is 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 valuable. I'm trying to help you, fool. He being scolded. The scolding didn't work for the uh, deal. It don't work for everybody. Because he was he was a know-it-all too. Same kind of situation. Then he hired Manny Stewart. Manny Stewart, he's like, oh shit, this dude is, is yelling and screaming at me. When you yell and scream, you can't really get to guys like Jermaine Taylor or, you know, might not be able to get to Deontay, but all I'm saying is he needs somebody that's going, even if they're not yelling and screaming at Deontay, they can say, they can set the precedence and say, look, hey, man, you going to do what I say? I ain't going to yell and scream at you. I'm all business. My time, I can be uh, with my grandkids. I could be on the lake fishing. I can be doing all kind of stuff and wasting my time with, with you not listening to me. Either you're going to listen to me or I'm gone. Have somebody else. Go Have Malik Scott train you. Then when y'all in there fighting, you telling them the instructions and stuff, and he ain't doing it. Deontay's sitting there pepping, he getting hit. Hey, man, either you're going to let your hands go or I'm stopping the fight. I'm not going to let you take no more punishment. He needs somebody at least like that. But Deontay ain't done. <laughs> he ain't done. He coming back. All them yes men in his corner. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, t- Imagine if that was Emmanuel Stewart's real son. Mm, mm, mm. And you can always tell when the man. I ain't even gonna get into that. But anyway, them yes man is in trouble. I mean, they they they, they nothing but trouble. They nothing but trouble. Uh. You know, comment, rate, subscribe. It's your boy. Like the video. Uh, that's it.